Today's gonna be a hard day. Let me show you why. Okay guys, so right now I'm in my brother's-in-law car, just waiting on him before we go to my sister's place. Earlier in this video, I said it's gonna be a tough day. I meant to say it's gonna be a tough couple of days, just with this being the fourth and then tomorrow's the fifth. These are two significant dates that just remind me of last year. I know you've seen that I explained this throughout the video. I just wanna touch on some things a little bit more so you guys understand how important your time is and how important your loved ones are. Uh, so, off to my sister's house. I think my brother-in-law's left me though. I think he just straight up left me. So I'll check back in when I'm at my sister's house Hopefully, okay, so we just got here to my sister's place. Yeah, I got to get my stuff now so I can go inside because I think it's about the rain. So yeah What's up Gabby? Do y'all see this? Do y'all see them hit me? Do y'all see this? It, this happens every time. Hey, Skylar. Yeah, like, what about you? Can I get a hug, Skylar? Yeah. Well, hey, be careful, Gabby. You almost hit Skylar in the face. Yeah. You okay, Skylar? Yeah. Okay, baby. Mm. Kiss it. Kiss it. You want to say hello to my to my peoples? Or no? Okay. All right. What about you, Skylar? You want to say hey to him? Hi, sister. Hi, baby. How you doing? Take my hand. Daddy? All right, cool. All right, guys, so it's currently the next day here in Kentucky. I'm here with uh, my niece, Gabby. I want to talk. I want to talk. Okay, to okay, talk. okay, okay, okay. Talk. Hi, my name's Gabby. Oh. My mother's in there. You want to go see her? Oh, my gosh. Okay, somehow she's taking over my vlog. This is Gabby's vlog now. Oh, hey, you got to talk. Oh, so you're the director now? Yeah, she's... Uh, oh, I know. I know I'm going out the movie then. Well, I just told <laughs> Okay, well, today, we are, today we are making breakfast. Okay. And uh, Skyla is helping to scrum the eggs. And, of course, here comes Gabby because Gabby needs to compete and do it as well. Is this a typical morning in the wear uh, residence? This is a typical morning. If one doesn't, the other one has to do it and see if they can do it better. Interesting. That's normal. So, basically, I'm not ready for kids. Thanks, well, Gabby. Uh, yeah, because it's expensive. Why? Uh, Mommy take care of the kids. Yeah, she, she your mother does but, an but excellent if, job. If, if your mommy's sister, then you should have kids. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. Why? Um, because then it you, takes time. You, you don't have a sister, then. You're not going to take care of the kids. I don't have a sister just because I don't want kids right now? Nope. We're going to see Granny buried in the ground. Right. That's why I'm here. That's... Can I are say you, something? Are you sad about that? How do you feel about that? No! Why not? Because you know why? Because... Okay. I don't want to. I wish I uh, felt the same like Gabby does, but I'll explain to you guys like how I feel about it and how this can relate, you know, just to, to everyone, what we're going through. Yeah, cause uncle is a butt face. So he needs to <laughs> say cheese everybody. We're, we're about to leave. Oh, oh God, oh. Say bye to the camera. Okay. Six, A farewell dance. Seven, Let's go. Eight, go. Oh. <laughs> Look at Sissy's face. <laughs> she's like, what is wrong with her? Hey, hey she's like, Mama, what's going <laughs> on? Oh, <no>. Sissy. <laughs> As you guys now know, May 5th was the one year anniversary that my grandmother had passed away. And that's the reason why I haven't been uploading for the past four days, even though I said 
daily vlogging has begun. The passing of my grandmother and just knowing that I'll never see her again really sinked into me and it really started to hit me when I got home from Kentucky and when I wasn't around my sister or nieces anymore. You know, because my nieces are so full of life, they're so animated, they're so funny, so I couldn't be that way around them, you know what I mean? You know, life is so crazy, we're always so busy, we always have this to do, we have that to do, and because of that, we just get so invested that we start to forget about our loved ones and the people that care about us most, and that was me, you know? I was 18, 19, 20, trying to figure out, what do I wanna do? I'm fresh out of high school, Everyone's going to college. I don't know if college is for me, so maybe I shouldn't go to college. It was just that common theme throughout my life, and because of that, I didn't keep in touch with my grandmother, not to mention because she lived in Kentucky, so I felt like that was an excuse not to make time for her, when in reality, I should have read the signs of her getting sicker and sicker and sicker and said to myself, you have to make time for her because her time is limited. And outside of that, that is someone who truly cares for you and that loves you genuinely and that has always been there for you literally since day one and the honest truth is I recognize that sign but I didn't do anything about it there was no action from my part to make time for her so to bring this full circle and what I'm saying to you guys is that make times for your loved one take five or ten minutes just to call your grandparents to check in on them or just anybody that you love in general especially if you haven't talked to them in a while and just in general and I promise if you do that it will make their day. And not only that, that is a way for you to cherish the memories and hold on to it when it's their time to go. So with that being said, rest in paradise, Granny, and I'm sorry I didn't make time for you like I should have. But just know that I will and always love you.